Dr. Saraswat, Honorable Member of Niti Ayog and Chief Guest of today's function, Dr. Pratik Sharma, Vice Chancellor of Terry SAS, Dr. Kamal Sharma, Registrar of the Institute, Dr. Viva Dhawan, Director General of Terry, members of the Board of Management and Academic Council and Trustees of Terry SAS, deans, faculty members and the staff of the Institute, members of the media, distinguished guests, and my dear students. Very good afternoon to everybody, and my heartiest congratulations to you all for your success and achievements. My greetings to all the dignitaries and gratitude for participating in this convocation. We are really fortunate to have Dr. Saraswat, who has been spearheading the science and technology development in the country now, and earlier, the missile technology development when he was in DRDO. I'm very happy to welcome you and extremely graceful, grateful to you for agreeing to grace this function. Today, you are all going to be graduated and we have gathered here to recognize your achievements. I wish you very best for your future. You must always remember the role of your parents and teachers to make you worthy of this distinction. My compliments to all the teachers who have mentored you to make you capable to step out and set your own goals. One of the major challenges today is how we are going to shape the future Earth. Last two centuries, we have seen unprecedented growth driven by technology and created north-south divide or a digital divide. The issues of livelihood, poverty, and food security are severe in rural areas, not only in India, but throughout the world. In view of this, our Prime Minister has given a clarion call for G20 cohort, one earth, one family, and one future, for the work, working towards this goal. It is our duty to ensure sustainability of the planet, earth as it provides us resources, energy, and supportive ecosystem to survive. Human activities have major impact on the earth system and affected the environment at the local, regional, and global levels. So large scale global environmental changes have major impact on food, water, energy, and human security, and in turn have threatened the sustainability of humanity. The threat to human security from weather and climate variability can be episodic as cyclone or slow, inconspicuous as a drought, but more damaging in the long run. Such fluctuations in climate in the past have an impact on civilizations. It is believed that the Harappan civilization was lost due to the climate change. In recent times, the most remarkable example of climate change has been witnessed in the Sahel region of the Africa. The semi-arid region has witnessed prolonged periods of below average rainfall since 1960s and suffered a multi-year droughts and shifted to drier climate and turned into a desert in last 80 years. This has led to migration of farmers, which also affected its economy as well. International efforts for curbing this advance of desertification has been successful now, and desert has started receding and farming is now viable. This is how the technology has helped to come over the impacts of the climate change. Such effective response to global environmental change depends on the quality of knowledge, expertise of the organizations who respond to such an event, and consciousness of the communities involved. Hence, the building effective resilience to climate change needs to be addressed 
in an integrated manner at the three levels of system, global or the earth system, social and human systems. The dynamics and interactions of the earth system affect at various spatial and temporal scales to humanity within the boundaries of the earth system. Hence, we need to create a social system that means a political, economic, and industrial structures to provide base for fulfilling human existence. The social system depends largely and affected by our lifestyles and values, which allows us to live healthily, safely, and securely. The inequities in the social system will not allow human system to survive. Hence, we need to develop human and social system to tackle the issues related to global climate system so that human beings continue to live sustainably. To address these goals, we need to understand how Earth as a whole is changing due to natural as well as anthropogenic activities or how fluctuations in global system affect human activity. We need to build international partnerships of academia, government, business community, and civil society to support such kind of generation of scientific knowledge and integrate with natural and social science and humanities. Such knowledge will help to address the challenges of environmental changes and sustainability. We need to encourage both disciplinary and interdisciplinary excellence in collaboration with public private and voluntary organizations. Terry Sass has imparted such knowledge to you. I'm sure this will help you to bring sustainable development in the country. Your emphasis should be on solution-oriented approach in order to anticipate or predict and manage the global environmental change through research on a transformative pathways, scenarios, and innovation. Such approach will facilitate to understand the requirement of what kind of institutional, economic, social, technological, and behavioral changes which are required to attain global sustainability. I'm sure by building global capabilities for long-term sustained observing system and network, earth system models, data management systems, and infrastructure, we can achieve global sustainability. I again congratulate you for graduating today and receiving your degrees. Your achievements and accomplishments have been also rewarded with medals for some of you. As you embark upon new journey and try to carve a niche for yourself in the world, you should carry the values that the Terry Sass has instilled in you and you shall make it valuable contribution to society and make the world a better place to live on. In the end, I would again like to thank Dr. Saraswat for gracing the occasion today. Thank you very much.